Hello there, Steve Santuff here. Um, I'm here to talk to you about being the biggest and baddest turtle dealer there ever was. Um, yeah, that's right, biggest and baddest turtle dealer. If you look right here, you type in your name, comes up with uh, my note on how the Georgia Supreme Court does some violations, or excuse me, Georgia DNR does some violations of the Georgia Supreme Court, and how Georgia killed hundreds of my aquatic turtles. And then here, this Steve Santa versus Steve Seitz, he's a Georgia Conservation Ranger, Court of Appeals, 11th Circuit. That's the third thing on there. So let's open that up right there. Go to the mouse, open that up. Okay, it's got some information here. Now, what was this lawsuit about? This lawsuit was about officers illegally entering my property, taking my turtles, using them for their sales and their undercover activities, and basically obtaining an illegal warrant because they had no truthful facts to support probable cause. All right, we're going to read right here. Okay. It says, in 2003, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service invited the department to participate in Operation Snapper, a joint investigation into misconduct involving freshwater turtles. The Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources also participated in the cooperative effort. Sites served as lead agent for the operations in Georgia. During Operation Snapper, Sites worked with two agents of the, U of the Fish and Wildlife Service, Gary Phillips and Hal Hamrick. He also worked with Michael Bloxham, an officer with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. Sites learned that Steve Santhuff was a turtle enthusiast and dealer in turtles. On July 10, 2003, a concerned citizen informed Sites that Santhuff possessed at his residence species of turtles protected by state and federal law. Okay, let's talk about that. A dealer in turtles. Now, my whole point in the lawsuit was that Sites and Hal Hamrick obtained a search warrant because they were untruthful. They went to Judge Connor, Superior Court Judge in Gwinnett County, Georgia, and they obtained a search warrant because they had a two-page affidavit of bullshit. All right, it made me look like I was a turtle dealer. Now, Steve Seitz had at least one telephone call, maybe multiple telephone calls, with a federal agent named Tim Ballard. Tim Ballard and I knew one another because I was a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service rep. Uh, I was a, excuse me, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Good, I'm finally forgetting the name of that. Cooperating private individual. I was registered long term. I had reported Steve Seitz, alias Steve Davis, turtle dealer, to Tim Ballard. Tim Ballard contacted Steve Seitz, said, "Look, you're you're targeting Steve Santhuff. What for?" And Tim Ballard convinced, or tried to convince, rather, vice versa, Steve Seitz convinced Tim Ballard that they had me on some undercover wildlife crimes. That was not truthful to Tim Ballard. So Seitz was having a conversation with Tim Ballard where Seitz was telling him they had me caught up in some undercover sting illegal activity. That wasn't true. Gary Phillips sent me $400 cash in a FedEx envelope to my doorstep and asked me to do a purchase from Steve Seitz. Then they went to Judge Connor and said I insisted on buying illegal wildlife from an undercover officer. They never told Judge Connor that they sent me the $400, that they asked me to make the purchase, and that I was a registered cooperating private individual long term. So they didn't tell all that to Judge Connor. So they made it look like I was a turtle dealer, like I was involved in some kind of turtle sales. I wasn't. I've never sold a turtle in my life. I personally don't believe in commercializing from wildlife, okay? It's just something I don't believe in. Am I critical of people who do it? You know, maybe it can be done in a sustainable way. Maybe you're captively reproducing the animals. Um, you know, that's, that's somebody else's business. I'm not here to criticize anybody else. But I'm just here to tell you my personal belief was non-commercialization of wildlife. And here I'm being called a turtle dealer by the Federal Court of Appeals in the 11th Circuit. My whole frickin' point was that Steve Seitz was not truthful. And here, the Court of Appeals can't even understand the point. Now, I got a lot of things I could say negatively about the Court of Appeals. All I know is they don't give a shit about ruling uh, favorably with the law. It's not like I'm a sore loser. They just didn't follow the law. They didn't follow their own 
uh, procedures from their own case law. They didn't follow general case law. And here they come up with this bullshit uh, turtle dealer. Sites found out that I was a turtle dealer. Sites didn't find out that I was a turtle dealer. He knew that I wasn't. He had a conversation with Tim Ballard, who's now retired, and he came up with a two-page affidavit to come in my home and rob me, robbing me in my backyard in the middle of the night before a search warrant wasn't good enough. They wanted all the turtles. So they took them all. They killed 365. Uh, the case is finally over in court. That's fine and dandy. Don't ever do this again. Thank you.